What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode of Draftmas. Um, in the last episode, did we lose in the semi final? I think it wasn't a bad effort, to be fair. It was an all special cards draft, uh, quite enjoyable to play in. For today's episode, we are back with another Prestige 26 offer. So the rules are quite simple, guys. If I don't win today's draft, this product across all colors, the Prestige 26 stamp t-shirt, I'll leave a link in the description and in the pinned comment down below, will be £5 for 24 hours. The code will be at the end of the video um, when we've won or lost the draft, if we win or lose a draft. And um, yeah, if you guys want to get involved in that, Prestige26.com link is down below. So for today, it is the 8th. We have got the trusty tree that I'm not going to throw on the floor today. We are taking box number eight. Oh man, let's have a fun one today. Let's have a good one today, please. We are going to do... Oh, this could be really good. You can't read it because real far away. Just zoom in or something. Highest rated player each pick. Um, which might make the drafting phase quite quick. But otherwise... Has has some potential to have some kind of uh, you know debate, I suppose. Now we are going to go for the four triple two. I know it doesn't have any wingers, um, so let me just type this in. Lost third round. I haven't still got the results. Oh yeah, good start. I still haven't got the results from AA's episode six or episode seven. Um, so I might be in the lead. I might be behind. We might be level. I don't know. Um, I'll I'll tally up for tomorrow's episode. Uh, but for today, guys, if you're enjoying the content, you want to subscribe to the channel, you want to leave a like on the video, that would be very much appreciated. And for the first pick, we have to pick Neymar. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to win this draft. Um, but, uh, yeah, the highest player pick every round. Here we go. Well, this is exciting. We take Bore. Three-star, three-star, high, high. He's got decent physicals. You know, he's not awful, especially with a hunter. He's not awful. We must take him. He can get subbed out for Neymar, so it's not a problem. Oh, both of them. Now, again, I don't mind taking this guy because he's actually not awful, right? Got good positioning and finishing, good sprint speed, really nice dribbling, super low composure, decent physicals with low aggression. But if we can get an icon in one of these cam spots, we'll actually get some chemistry on him. Oh, now we've got a choice. Iniesta, Blas, and Alia, no. Foden or Muller. And that Foden. Four-star skill moves. Only a three-star weak foot, but he would make a good striker, wouldn't he? We're going to have to take Foden over Muller, unfortunately. Not even unfortunately. Fortunately, because that Foden card is a beast. We just don't have any links yet. Come on, I need an icon. Well, it seems like EA wanted me to have this Thomas Muller. So we are going to get that uh, that link eventually to Bore. We're missing out on a Deli Alley and a Clint Dempsey. In this draft right here, I probably would have taken Deli Alley. But we're going to go for Thomas Muller because he is the highest rated. Ooh. Bill Warren's not bad. It's a shame he doesn't link. Delaney would have been nice as well. Arnold wouldn't have been the one that we wanted, even though he does link. Diawara is just not bad. A catalyst chem style is rock. That's a third uh, numbers up play we've already seen as well. Although Deli Ali was two of them, I think. But yeah, I mean, Diawara is decent, man. Reasonable physicals and defending. Good passing and dribbling. Reasonable pace with a catalyst. If we can get some chemistry on him, that would be great. Next up. Oh, yes, man. We're getting some good players here. Again, I think if I had the choice, I'd probably take Wilfred and Didi. Um, especially on a shadow. For the, the way the draft is right now because of chemistry. But Marcus Llorente is nothing to sniff your nose at. This is a quality card. If we can get any chemistry on him and any chemistry on Foden, that would be very nice. In at right back. We're going to take Hakimi. Kappa would have been ideal, to be fair, wouldn't he? Because we could have put him at centre-back with uh, with uh, Llorente. Hakimi, ones to watch card, is the one that's there. The upgraded version. This would be the first time using Hakimi as an 86 for me. I've used his 85 for plenty of games. But, yeah, the first 86 we've got going on here. No links, really, anywhere. Apart from the striker to Muller. Ooh. Eder Militao. 
Bastoni doesn't fit. I mean, Bastoni links to Diawara. So does Kaer. But Eder Militao, another numbers up player. How about that? Eder Militao goes in. Soft links to Marcos Llorente. And per man, this draft is very good. Well, we've got the pick of the bunch here. 578. We're going to have to go with Diallo, aren't we? We're absolutely going to have to go with Diallo. Victor Ruiz. Ooh. Victor Ruiz gives a strong link to Lurente, which gets him on seven chemistry, which is very good. Diallo gets a strong link to Hakimi, which gets him on 10 chem, and Diallo on seven chem, which is very good. I think Diallo is just the better choice. I think he's a better player in general. And I overall just think he's the better choice. Come on, good left back for me. Either Ben Sabiani, who does link to Muller, or Marcus Alonso, who doesn't link to anyone. Oh, no, wait, Alonso links to uh, Odin. Yeah, we'll take another little, uh, another little link there. A few extra chem points. And then our goalkeeper... Either Ukija, who does link Diallo, or Ortega, who doesn't link to anyone. Well, there's our starting 11 so far. Uh, some good players, some bad players, to be fair. Goalkeeper and two defenders are bad. Striker is bad. The rest of the players are quite good. We have got a long way to go with this draft. Oh, oh, let's go. Damn, I actually was sitting there thinking I wouldn't mind Mendy because, he, you know, we've got some Chelsea players in there. But Donnarumma is a legitimate pick, to be fair. Strong links into Diallo. That's a massive, massive little boost of chemistry there. Gets rid of a terrible goalkeeper for an insane goalkeeper as well. I wonder if we pop Neymar in there. No, we lose Kem. We just need a link to Eder Militao, man. We need a better defender to put into that left-back role. All 75s here, and there is the, the defender I was looking for. Pedroza is going to go into left-back. It's going to give Militao a bit of chemistry. It's going to give... Throws are a bit of chemistry. We're going to lose some on Foden, but overall, we've now got a strong back line. Or at least a good chem back line. That midfield and attack, we need to make a few little changes on. We can start Alonso just to give some chem if we're going to sub Neymar on anyway. Next up, Bastoni. Ah, oh, man, it would have been so nice to get Kappa in there. It's going to have to be Bastoni. He's a really good defender. He just doesn't fit into the team at all. Next up, Ozil or Frule? Again, Frule, he, like we've got a little Serie A theme going on here, but we just can't link these players. I'm going to say Ozil for old time's sake, man. The Arsenal PMP goes strong in the draft. The Rune in there as well. God damn, man. Ibora. I can't take. We either have to take Bailey, Darun, or Wurtz. If we take Wurtz and play him at DM, I get Muller on full chem. That's not the Wurtz. We do get a little bit of chemistry there. Not bad, that. Next up. Oh, my, do you know what? I was looking at Kramaric thinking I wouldn't mind him, to be fair. But Mohamed Salah, I definitely don't mind him. I don't know if I want to start him on 2 chem. But I don't mind him at all. Next up. Oof. We're going to have to take Stindle. But do you know what? Stindle actually is going to give us chemistry. It's a shame that we can't take that Carlson. But yeah, Stindle gives us a plus one because Wurtz goes up to six. Stindle's on six. I might have to... Oh, what about if we put a Bore there? That gives us a plus two. I don't want to start Salah on two chemistry. Four picks to go. I need a, a Premier League striker would be ideal. Oh my God. That is so sad, man. Because we could start Cordoba and Bastoni, but we don't have a goalkeeper. Well, we have Donnarumma who's Italian, so that does work. But then Hakimi loses out. And then we could put Diawara in. And get him on soft chem. I've, I'm going to take... Oh, I mean, I have to take Cordoba. I don't have a choice. 
What do we get? Jonathan David. I don't mind that at all. We'll pop David up top there. Oh, that Cordoba. That's that's really, really unfortunate. Because we've also got Eden Militao on good chem already as well. I would get rid Oh, I would have loved would have loved Timo Werner in that team there. We're gonna have to take Raheem Sterling, but the perfect link to Foden for chemistry. And then we sub Salah on. Oh man, we've got some very good players in this draft. It's just a shame we can't fit this together. And then last but not least, it's going to be Ed and Dzeko. In terms of what we can do, Cordoba and Bastoni can go into those centre-back roles. Doesn't really help very much. Um, Lorente's on four chem, but with the right manager, that'll be fine. Sterling's on three chem, but with the right manager, he'll be fine as well. But Sterling's going to come off anyway. Sterling for Neymar for sure. And probably Stindle, a Salah, or David. Bastoni left back, Cordoba centre back, Diawara CDM. Bastoni, is Bastoni a better, better centre back? I mean, overall, the chemistry is way better for the team. Maybe then sub on Llorente at left back, a Diallo, and put Bastoni in a centre back. I don't mind that. Llorente comes on for Diallo. Missing out on Eddie Militao is sad. Neymar comes on and Salah comes on. Sterling and Stindle. Stindle's not an awful card. He's just slow. So is Muller as well, to be fair. I didn't bring on Llorente. Let's see what manager we get. Get David Moyes. We get Dion Isi, who would be good for Kem. Would give us a nice little little boost there. Or, or Moyes, who would give that plus one to Sterling, which would mean that we could actually start Sterling and not have to sub him out straight away. Eight and seven, or ten and four, or C tits, baby. That takes up to 90. That takes up to 90. Always only to 89. Yeah, we're, we're going to take... Uh, we're going to take Pioli as the manager. I think... Sterling's definitely going to be on negative uh, negative stats. But we're going to sub him out. Yeah, so Sterling's going to come out. Warwick is going to be our secondary DM. So I think we might swap around Cordoba and Bastoni to start. Bring Llorente on for Sterling. And Neymar on for Stindle. Something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get into the game. But that is the draft. Let's get into the game. All right. First round opponent. I do think I want to just use the team as is until I feel like I need to make changes. Come on, buddy. Let's go. There we go. Well, I've got Messi, Keane, Jota, uh, Fernandez, Madison, and Fofana, Hakimi. Marquinhos, Ramos, Donnarumma, and Regulon. That's actually a good team, to be fair. Oh, wait, no, I do need to make a sub, don't I? Because I don't want Alonso up front. I thought I still had Sterling up front. Nice head air. So Alonso off for Neymar. Salah on for Stindle. Diallo off for Cordoba. And that's a squadron. That is a squadron. Good night, Nate. Let's go, buddy. Neymar with the goal. Let's go, buddy. Lovely little run. Use the uh, the directional run change there to put Neymar through the right-hand side rather than through the middle. Oh, Foden. Just run into that space, man. What are you waiting for? me tackling the ball there put it diverted it perfectly into his path Neymar oh oh it's gone wide wait what has it gone in what's happening 
What on earth has the camera just done? Had the inside there as well. Oh, it's auto switched me. I'm not even controlling. Like, what? The ball's not even off the floor. No pass was made or anything, and it's auto switched me. Oh, Salah. Oh, Donovan with the save. Neymar. Back post. Cordoba. It's over. A five star, five star from Neymar coming in. Trump's there. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That is a great goal. Oh, he was offside. Good block, Pedrosa. Oh, he's got Ramos again, man. One keeps. Love that Donnarumma. Oh, yeah, we've got Salah here in space. Love that. Oh, Foden, beautiful. Here's Thomas Muller. Neymar at the far side. Oh, just tried to bang that first time and he's taken a touch. Oh, no, that's terrible. Don't need to go backwards. Forwards only. Forwards only. Forwards only. Foden. Oh, I've tried to chip it over the keeper. That's going to be the half. All right, we are dominating this game, which is nice. Come on, Salah. Oh, big save from Donnarumma. Here we go again. Yep, back post. It's on. It's on. Let's go. It's uh, Militao this time. Oh, this guy's brought on Anthony and Vinicius Jr. Go on, do a skill move. Do a skill move. No one's near you. Go on, do a skill move. Yes! And another one. And another one. Yes! And another one. Make it three. Way! Save Donnarumma. <laughs> Boom, Donna Roma. Yes, yes. Oh, ref, red card, please. Thank you very much. Oh, Salah. What well, bang that was. Mo Salah, Salah. Well, then, Salah, 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 Salah makes it four. Let's go. Very composed FIFA there. No rushing in the attack. Just waiting for him to make the moves. Open the space up. He hasn't changed where that hole in his defense is. Exploit the gap. And boom. Oh, Nene. Oh, Nene. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, it's off the post. Here we go. Surely a goal. He's bringing his keeper out. Putting his keeper back. Jesus Christ. Not that it matters. That'll be game over. That will be game over. There we go. GG's, boys. First round done. First round one. I will see you all in round number two. All right. The second round for today is up against the 4-2-2-2. Jota, Jimenez, De Bruyne, Barkley. Phillips. Damn, that back line. Saka in at right back. Oh, he's got a beast in at right back. He has got a beast in at right back. And just sub Saka up front. Actually, don't because then I'll lose. I didn't even get to see the rest of his draft. My eyes just got drawn to his defence. He had Ru Ru Ruben Diaz in defence. That's some good defending from me. I don't like his stadium. Does anyone know what stadium this is? I don't like the way the, uh, the camera angle is on this pitch. Go on, Muller. Go on, Muller. Oh, Thomas Muller. With the goal of dreams. Right, Alonso off. Neymar on. Salah on for Stindl. And Diallo off for Cordoba. Is it Molyneux? Uh, it's the Etihad, actually. It is the Etihad. Thomas Muller, what goal, mate? Oh, well, there you go. We are through, guys, to the semi-finals. <laughs> How easy was that? Very nice indeed. I will see you guys there. All right, here we go. This guy's got Messi, Neymar, Zakaria, Fafana. Dembele up front, Desai. Is that house at centre back with James, Alfonso Davies, and Lafont in goal? I don't know who that centre mid is. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Stindle. Love that. That is beautiful FIFA. Lars Stindle gets a goal. Now he's off. See you later, pal. Go on, then. Foden. Oh, I should have squared it to Neymar in the first place. I knew the shot, shot the uh, opportunity was there. On Salah. Let's go, baby. 2 0. Seven minutes in. I'll take a corner. Man, that guy was ready to take a red card there as well. Was that back post? Bang! Oh! Akimi with the, the scissor kick volley. This is one of those games, guys, where 3 0 this guy goes. But 2 1, he stays for the, the entirety of the game. Go on, family. That has to be a foul. I mean, he's, he's genuinely pulling my shirt from behind to stop me from making the advancement. And upon stopping me from making the advancement, manages to tackle the ball back off of me. That is literally a foul, as any which way you want to look at it. Hold on. Mo Salah. Let's go, Salah. I told you guys. 3-0, this guy's done. 2-1. He stays in the game for the entirety. And he's done. And we're through to the final. Just like that. Let's go. All right, the final game, guys. The final game. Here we go. We're up against 4-3-1-2. Kante and Bappe and Keane is nice. His midfield's pretty poor. His backline's very nice. His goalkeeper's pretty poor. We could certainly uh, make use of that back, that poor goalkeeper. I assume he's going to make some midfield changes. Probably drop Kante into the midfield. Sub on an attacking player. Go on, Stindle, pal. Go on, St Oh, no. Oh, Lurente. Oh, Lurente. Oh, that's devastating, man. That's devastating. I can win this. I think we're creating enough. Getting hit on the counter is devastating. And obviously, as you guys well know, like Mbappe is just a different breed of player on FIFA. So we are going to struggle on the counters the, the whole draft now. But Oh, come on now. You know where that came from as well? I intercepted the ball perfectly and it just dropped straight back to his player. Absolutely unbelievable again. This game is unbelievable. And I was I was on a 2v1. Two, two and I pressed the pass button as a through ball. And he just passed it at the defender. Come on, man. Man. Every time he gets a tackling, he just, the ball just drops straight back to him. Every time I get a tackling exactly like that, the ball drops straight back to him. Go on in. All right. Oh, this is a stressful game, man. This is a stressful one. It's one of those games where I feel like I'm fighting against the uh, the game itself as much as I am my opponent. Oh, give over. Oh, give over. Oh, this is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke. Oh, this is a joke. I'm, fight I'm, I'm fighting against EA here so much, guys. I don't know how Messi has won that header at the back post and then I've tackled and blocked it two times and it just drops back to him again every time. How's that first ball not gone through to Neymar, man? It wasn't for whoever that player was running on the diagonal, man. Yeah, you're killing me here. <sighs> We've had one offside goal, hit the woodwork three times. And right there again, man, I've got Neymar is clean through. I aim the pass to Neymar and it just doesn't go to him. It goes to the other guy. And that'll be game over, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to get back into this one. Come on, Salah. All right. Two goals to go. 23 minutes. We can do it. Oh, that'll be that, guys. I won't come back now. We just don't have enough time left. Oh, for crying out loud, game. Oh, for crying out loud. I genuinely feel a bit hard done by in that in that game there, guys, to be fair. I honestly do. I'm, I don't want to take anything away from my opponent because he was a good player and he was all out attack. And credit to him for that. You know, at 4-2 and at 4-1, he could easily just gone all out defense and just been a sweaty, sweaty player. And he wasn't. We hit the, the woodwork three times with very good shooting options. Twice with Neymar, once with Stindle. 
it's just uh, it's just such a such a it's just literally such a hard game to lose especially because of the manner with which he scored his goals you just won't see it you won't see what happens the other side of things you only see obviously like the the end of it so you don't get to see the tackles that got put in that were good challenges you don't get to see the good reading of the play and stuff all you get to see is like the last few seconds where it's a goal this one specifically how messy won that header at the back post look at that oh it's just frustrating watching it but hey we got to the final we lost in the final that's too bad let's see what we can get out of our rewards and uh yeah it was just one of those games where it just felt like we were fighting against ea as much as we were fighting against um as much as we were fighting against our opponents so we lost in the final this time around we get a rare gold pack and a premium gold players pack let's see if we can get anything good out of these packs maybe uh make it a little bit a little bit easier we do get a walkout it's going to be chesney at least it's tradable this time i've got him in the club untradable actually i might have used him in an spc i did use him in an spc but we'll take the uh 17 18 000 coins from chesney we made some profit off of this draft happy days can't uh can't complain about that with one more pack to go and already sitting in profit so uh let's pop the hawk up as well let's check the denmark kit no that doesn't sell and the invincibles club nickname does sell for about five six hundred coins not too bad um and then a 25k pack to end things off if you guys enjoyed the content be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and for now guys i'm out it's, it's a terrible pack it's a terrible pack all right, guys, before we get out of here, uh, so of course we did lose the final. You just saw me open the packs. Uh, that does mean that this Prestige 26 t-shirt in all four colors that it comes in will be five pounds for 24 hours from 9 p.m. when the draft goes live until 9 p.m. when tomorrow's draft goes live. We're going to use code rigged, R-I-G-G-E-D, code rigged for this one. Um, so enjoy the Prestige 26 content. That's going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.